presentation is brought to you by the Canadian Kinesiology Alliance, the voice of kinesiologists across Canada, and the Provincial Kinesiology Associations. My name is Julie Johnson. I am a practicing kinesiologist in British Columbia and the coordinator for the Kin Startup Kit program at the CKA. Thank you for your interest in kinesiology in Canada, and mostly thank you for connecting with the CKA to be better informed before embarking on your career or continuing with your studies. Before we get started, we'd like to note that the information made available through this website and in this presentation may differ from one province to another. The primary purpose of this website is and presentation is to provide kinesiologists information, examples of resources, tools and materials, definitions, job titles, scope of practice, etc. As kinesiology is provincially legislated, all of these may be different from one province to another. The CKA is not responsible for consequences and damages that may occur as an outcome of its use or misuse, incomplete use and misadaptation or its interpretation. It is to be stressed that the aim is to guide kins and if anyone has difficulty over interpretation, they should seek independent advice. So what is the Kin Startup Kit? The Kin Startup Kit is a website tool that has been developed for Kins across Canada by the CKA. The goal is to equip students, new grads, and active kinesiologists across Canada by providing a one-stop shop of updated information as they continue with their studies or transition into practice. Throughout this presentation, I will show you how to access and utilize the Kin Startup Kit platform and how to get started as a Kin. We will also cover who the CKA is and what we do for our affiliated kinesiologists, including the professional resources that are available to all of our affiliated kinesiologists, introduce our provincial associations, talk about the opportunities available to you via our partnerships and so much more. The website kinstartupkit.ca has been broken down into six main pillars of knowledge with commonalities that aim to answer questions and guide you in your profession after university or assist you as you grow your career as a practicing kinesiologist. In each pillar, there is information in sub -su subsequent submenus that you can explore and they will answer questions you may have. In our presentation today, we will briefly cover each of the six pillars of information, as well as what you can find in each section. So let's dive in, starting with the first pillar, the who's who section. In this section, we outline how kinesiology is represented across Canada from a national level at the CKA to a provincial level at the various PKAs and everything in between. Did you know in Canada, there are over 6,000 practicing kinesiologists, of which 4,300 are members of their provincial professional associations, namely the 10 provincial kinesiology associations referred to as PKAs, and therefore also members of the Canadian Kinesiology Alliance. The CKA is a nonprofit organization representing the 10 provincial kinesiology associations that are member associations. The CKA works with a broad group of stakeholders that include industry, government, and other health professional association groups. The CKA acts to unify and harmonize the governance and standards for kinesiology within Canada. We work together across Canada with the BCAK, 
AKA, MKA, OKA, FKQ, NBKA, KANS, NLKA, and KPEI. At this time, Saskatchewan's association will be recognized by the CKA in the fall of 2021 and ready for the 2022 membership year. If you are from the territories or Saskatchewan, you may refer directly to the CKA. For all other provinces, we encourage you to get to know your provincial association as they will be a reliable resource throughout your career. Kinesiology, as any healthcare profession, is legislated provincially, which means that there is that each province governs the practice of kinesiology a little bit differently from the other provinces across Canada because of different existing laws, rules, and regulations linked to professional orders and their interpretation. Being a member of your provincial association becomes very important for your career in kinesiology because they are the hub of information to understanding all these differences. Student memberships are available right now through your PKA website, free of charge for most provinces. Get connected to your professional association right now today. So as you can see on the slide, there are several different titles for kinesiologists across Canada. These titles vary by province. For example, in Alberta, a professional kinesiologist is who you would see for kinesiology treatments, versus in New Brunswick, you would see a certified kinesiologist. A kinesiologist in any province can also be an affiliated kinesiologist by obtaining a membership through your provincial association. It is not uncommon for kins across Canada to have questions about how other professionals, such as exercise physiologists and their associations, such as CSEP and or CATA, are similar or different from kinesiologists. These types of questions can lead to confusion for the professional, so you, and potentially for your clients. The CKA has worked hard to provide clear and accurate information in this section about the differences between professionals, appropriate insurance coverage, and continuously evolving updates in legislation. For instance, do you know the answer to any of these key questions? How do you differentiate CATA and CSEP from the CKA and the PKAs? How do the CKA and CSEP insurance coverage options compare? Why does CSEP not cover the entire scope of kinesiology? What is the difference in professional liability insurance? As a CKA kinesiologist, can I work with the same clientele as a CSEP exercise physiologist? If you don't know the answers to these questions, don't worry, the Kin Startup Kit has all the resources you need to answer them, and we will go over them in this presentation. The CKA is here to assist you in finding the answers to any specific questions to your province and your practice. The second pillar of the Kin Startup Kit is the structure of the profession. This section helps Kins across Canada to obtain valuable information that is specific to your practice. It guides you to your provincial legislation that applies to where you, your practice exists in Canada and provides an overview of the code of ethics and scope of practice while outlining how and why you should obtain a membership with your PKA and the CKA. The scope of practice is the same across Canada, but its application and interpretation may be different from one province to another. You can find um, the legal definition on the Kin Startup Kit and the CKA websites, but it is important to note that the scope of practice is defined broadly, and this includes many fields of studies for which no specialty is recognized in any legislation. Kinesiology is a profession with many fields of studies or practice that are not specializations because it is not permitted in the laws but are referred to as a field of study, practice, or expertise. So all this really means is that when you complete your bachelor's degree, you can perform acts related to the various fields in the kinesiology curriculum. Although specialties are not available professionally to kin, there are additional certifications that can be obtained. For example, CSEP is one of the fields is under one of the fields of study of our eight core areas of study, and there's over 30 electives, just like ergonomics. It's important to recognize the difference between these types of certification versus kinesiology as a profession. 
Did you know that to practice, if you want to practice kinesiology in more than one province, you must obtain a membership with each province. So each PKA that you are going to practice in where your client is, is where you need to join respectively. In any province, you need to have professional liability insurance. In Ontario, you must be a member of the college. In BC, if you want to have clients referred to you by ICBC, you must be a member of the BCAK. And if you are to provide services virtually or online, you must comply with how the scope is applied in the province of the client. Online services do not erase the provincial borders. So why should you join your Provincial Kinesiology Association and the CKA? And how do you join? The PKAs provide a simple route to you to obtain your professional liability insurance, which is mandatory for your practice. There should, should there be an accident where a kin is at fault, without insurance, then everyone in the profession could be affected. The CKA has partnered with ProLink to get the most comprehensive insurance coverage that covers the entire scope of kinesiology at the lowest rate for all kins across Canada. Once a member, resources and promotional material sent directly to your inbox after completing your membership with your PKA and therefore the CKA. When kinesiology becomes legislated in a province, it is the college or professional order that will manage its application to protect the public. But how about the kins? This is another good reason to be a member of your PKA because they are the ones that protect and advocate on behalf of the kins. All kinesiologists are responsible to uphold a code of ethics provided to them by their provincial association. Provincial associations, in collaboration with the CKA, provide specific professional advocacy. So what does that mean? It means that the advancement of the profession is pursued by each PKA and the CKA and advocated for at the government level. All these points are based on the basic requirement for a profession to be recognized and thus legislated. Lawmakers look up to these to see how seriously our profession is structured to accept to legislate kinesiology within a province. Depending on the province in which you practice or intend to practice in as a kinesiologist will dictate how you join. For example, if you are from BC, Alberta, Ontario, or Quebec, you will visit their provincial website directly to sign up and then you will automatically become a CKA affiliated kinesiologist with your approved PKA application, your mandatory purchase of professional insurance, and your associated CKA affiliation fees. If you are from Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI, Newfoundland, Labrador, or Saskatchewan and the Territories, join your PKA via the CKA website directly. Starting in January 2023, there will be a mandatory national entry exam to obtain membership with all PKAs across Canada. To become a member in any province, excluding Ontario and Quebec, who already have mandatory entry to practice exams, you are required to register for the national entry to profession exam with the CKA and submit your supporting documents to validate your application, such as your transcripts and a copy of your degree. Once an applicant has successfully passed the exam, you will have one fiscal year to apply to become a member of your PKA in the same fashion as previous years. All kins must also keep current by completing continuing education standards monitored by the CKA, your PKA, or the college in Ontario. For the CKA, this is 60 credits over three years. It's fairly easy, but most important, this program ensures the quality and competency of practicing kinesiologists in each province. So in summary, to become a member of your PKA and therefore the CKA, you register and pass through the National Entry Exam or the Ontario and Quebec equivalent, and that will start in January 2023. Apply to be a member of your PKA via the CKA website or the provincial website itself. Purchase mandatory annual insurance, obtain your continuing education credit throughout the working year, and reap the many partnership benefits. In the third pillar, we address if you should begin your practice or continue on to more studies. For new grads and practicing kins alike, in a young profession like kinesiology, information is always changing. 
If you are considering looking for a new job opportunity, advancing your education or research, making the move into a new field or industry that kids commonly work in, the work or postgraduate work section has answers you are looking for. It is not always easy to know what options are available to you, especially when you are new to the profession. In addition, many people still do not know what a kinesiologist does, what kind of training they have, or what they are professionally capable of. In educating yourself about the opportunities available to you, you will be able to define yourself as a professional, create opportunities for yourself in the workforce, and subsequently expand and strengthen the profession of kinesiology in your community. I would now like to share with you one of the wonderful videos that the CKA has to offer to you to share with your clients on your social media platforms. This video has been made by the BCAK, and in addition to this video, there are several other campaigns with videos and photos for sharing and educating that are prepared with you in mind. What's rewarding about being a kinesiologist is the lifelong relationships that you make with people. When you get to see people grow and be more confident and start to really love life again, there's no better feeling than that. So there's key areas that kinesiologists can work in. For injury assessment, we help our clients return to pre-injury quality of life through specific stretches and exercises that help reduce pain and improve function. Disability management is about supporting employees' health and safety while at work. This could include things like functional capacity evaluations, return to work, safe moving and lifting techniques, all with the purpose of helping to either overcome or reduce injury. Exercise prescription is aimed at helping clients manage health issues such as diabetes, stroke, or even brain injury. The health and fitness side is great for people who maybe want to learn how to work out, just want to look and feel better, or even move into certain type of sports like skiing. So finally, we've got ergonomics, and this is where we look at the interface between the person and the environment. And the goal of ergonomics is to be able to provide guidance and support the physical demands in a safe and effective way. There's not really a typical day in the life of a kinesiologist. Uh, you can find us working in settings like clinics, one-on-one, -on -one, in teams, independently, in studios. But despite where we're working, we're always using the education that we gain in school. So anatomy, biomechanics, the human factors, and combine that with soft skills like leadership, collaboration, and coaching, all with the goal of helping our clients improve the quality of their life. The great thing about this profession is it's growing and changing so rapidly. We've got more recognition from other healthcare professions and the government. It continues to open more doors for kinesiologists to have a positive impact on the health of Canadians. At the end of the day, kinesiology is about people. It's about the ability to listen and respect who they are and what they need. Thank you to the BCAK for sharing that video. Too many kins are pressured to continue studies because they are not objectively evaluated all of their options. Kinesiologists across Canada have limitless options in terms of where they want to work and what they want their job to look like. Kinesiologists work as consultants, they're found in clinics, they work as case managers or administrative roles and many more positions. We earlier saw different titles used to name a kinesiologist. That was, and that it differed from one province to another. For example, only kins in Ontario can use a registered kinesiologist title. So if you're looking for a job, try answering these questions. What population do you wanna work with? What type of environment do you wanna work in? What is your overall career goal? Other successful suggestions are to look for titles other than kinesiologist and job descriptions with some of the words highlighted on this slide. It may also be beneficial to include different work environments, such as municipalities, research organizations, public or private educational institutions in your job search. What salary should you ask for? What other income stats are important? All of this can be found under this pillar of the Kin Startup Kit. So all of the information in the presentation so far has been how and why to become a kinesiologist, but what is it actually like to have a career as a kinesiologist and what will be required of you? 
This question is hard to answer because kinesiologists across Canada have limitless options in terms of where they want to work and what they want their job to look like. For example, if you work in a private clinical setting, you will likely work one-on-one -on -one with clients. You will be required to complete a thorough assessment of your client's movement patterns, baseline strength, and range of motion to establish appropriate goals with your client. By completing an assessment appropriate to the client's needs, you will design an individualized program that is safe and effective using the knowledge from your university degree. This can include, but is not limited to, elements of core strengthening, functional training, cardiovascular endurance, postural re-education, or injury rehabilitation. Upon subsequent visits, you will continue and reassess your client and your program. You'll potentially collaborate with other health professions contributing to your client's care, and you'll make necessary changes to help keep your client on track to achieving their goals and restoring their quality of life. The CKA is excited to announce two brand new initiatives. The first is the Kinesiology Foundation, which will be a national charitable organization that will be dedicated to advancing and supporting values-based and principle-driven kinesiology initiatives and research throughout Canada. The foundation is being implemented at this time and is not yet operational. It will leverage the kinesiology community knowledge to foster and support action towards enhancing the understanding, the development, and the implementation of kinesiology initiatives, all forms of physical activity that contribute to improving quality of life, physical fitness, mental well-being, and social interactions of Canadians through movement. The funds collected will be dispersed to many kinesiology-related projects, such as research projects, student scholarships, kinesiology initiatives, such as videos, educational modules, and so on. More on this project to come soon. The second exciting initiative is the Kin Case Competition. You could win some money here, so listen up. This case comp the National Kin Case Competition has been created for students at the third and fourth level year of Canadian University Kinesiology, Human Kinetics, and Physical Activity programs. Approximately 24 teams from provinces across the country will participate in the week-long event. The competition offers participants great opportunities to meet new people and network with practicing kinesiologists, academia, researchers, and prominent business people attending the competition either as judges or sponsors. Partici participants are encouraged to work on cases, present them, and defend them. Sign up now. If and when you do begin your practice, you will need some resources and want to visit the fourth pillar of information. The resources, tools, and materials section provides resources such as forms and promotional material that you can use in your practice. The form section includes templates for consent, intake, screening forms, and so on, so that you can download and adapt your practice. There is a multitude of promotional material provided by the CKA, such as fillable business card templates, kin logos in three different colors, a kin badge to add any materials you make, multiple templates for cards to clients for milestones or to engage with them, as well as national-based event promotion, promotional material that you can fill in your business details with to help the delivery of your services and promote yourself within your community. Not sure which client management systems are available to you as a kinesiologist? Start a one month free demo with HexFit or investigate programs to create personalized exercise programs for your clients and patients. HexFit is a tracking software for kinesiologists. The software is developed for kinesiologists by kinesiologists who truly understand the profession. HexFit includes a wide variety of features that help you in your day-to-day -day tasks as well as customer management, support, and care. For many healthcare professionals, the question of owning their own business typically comes up at least once in their career. If this path of entrepreneurship interests you, the self-employed or start a business section of the Kin Startup Kit has been designed with you in mind. Have you been self-employed or a business owner for a while already? Have you thought about becoming incorporated, being an employee, or an independent contractor? Do you have a business ID number? Do you know that this is also your HST, 
your GST number? Do you need one? How do you keep your clients' records and programs for a follow-up? Will you need a client relation management software? In this pillar, you will find constructive information and resources available to you, such as steps to help you successfully launch a business, as well as tips on increasing your clients for new and existing businesses and information to help you get started. They're all available here. As there is a lot of information out there, it's important to know your sources and who you trust. For example, there are many Facebook groups that connect kins, which is fantastic. But within those groups, there's often posts that may include misleading information. An example exam, is an exam prep course offered by a student or a guide to get your movement practice started. These resources are independent from the PKAs and CKAs and therefore have no actual input from the legal bodies of our profession who administer the exams and make changes at the government level. The last but equally important pillar I want to cover is the science of kinesiology. Continuing education and the advancement of your knowledge as a kinesiologist is imperative to your success with your clients and patients. And this section of the Kin Startup Kit gives you easy access to research articles as well as informative videos. If you are a researcher or looking to publish your work, the CKA is building a hub of information for, for your work to be published to. Did you know that in some provinces, such as Newfoundland and Labrador, you must submit your continuing education activities that you do to your CKA profile every three years to maintain good standing status? If you aren't sure what to do for these credits, the CKA provides a detailed list of the activities that count for credit on the main website. On this list, you will find that you can earn credits for publications and research. The CKA has different opportunities for you to publish your work and get to be known in the community. So why not start here? Advance your knowledge, expand your abilities, and grow the foundation for information for all CKA kins. So as we near the end of this presentation, I would like to share with you a video from the clients of kinesiologists. I can't sit in the car for long periods of time. I can't even sit through a movie. I was just projectiled across the intersection. I'd be paddleboarding and I'd feel this pain in my back. In industrial worksite, injuries, when they do happen, they can be severe. Shoveling continuously throughout the day, I just notice um, a sharp pain in my, my lower back. When you have lower back pain, it's actually crazy how much that influences other parts of your life. I would be worried about climbing upstairs, lifting something. It was actually a dual diagnosis of type 2 diabetes with hypothyroidism. Your brain, I, I think, sort of does go into a, um, a dead zone. My doctor suggested that I work with a kinesiologist. First, the kinesiologist did an assessment on uh, how I sat. It's helped to just, I guess, rebalance the issues I've had with my hip. I was able to paddle longer. My mobility came back. It keeps our workers at work. And if something goes wrong, it gets them back to work faster. I, I could have been out of work for an indefinite amount of time. And my life has been getting back to normal ever since. It makes such a big difference to be able to sit there and not feel pain when you're working. I actually finished my 10K. I always thought that my pain wouldn't go away and it's completely gone. I'm back to lifting weight. I mean, I couldn't even lift a weight. It's a relationship that goes beyond simply um, the sort of prescription of uh, going to exercise classes. Now I've got my coworkers asking me about kinesiology. If you're feeling pain, I can't recommend seeing a kinesiologist enough. I wish I would have gone to a kinesiologist earlier. I just left it and left it. Because it will actually change your life. Yes. Yeah. Before we wrap up this presentation, I want to cover one of the highlights of the year the National Kinesiology Week and the Kin Can Conference. National Kin Week hosts various events virtually across Canada, bringing kinesiologists together to celebrate all things kin. The Kin Can Conference is an annual virtual conference where esteemed speakers speak to kinesiologists across the country about a variety of topics that enlighten and embolden kin and their practices. This fall, students can attend for only $20 and get access to all the workshops as well as a virtual trade show, live Q&A with the presenters at the top of their field, and professional networking, and of course, the case competition we introduced earlier in the presentation. 
Each year, the Canadian Kinesiology Awards, which are awarded at the KinCan Conference for Outstanding Achievement in Canada's Kinesiology Industry. The CKA is pleased to recognize Canadian professionals for their achievements, a recognition of the symbol of excellence, as well as a powerful launching career for a launching pad for careers, kinesiology clinics, and universities looking to establish themselves in a competitive marketplace. Awards for Kin of the Year, Event or Initiative of the Year, Researcher of the Year, and the Best Speaker of the Conference are awarded to kinesiologists nominated and selected from across Canada. So this wraps up our presentation today. We would like to thank our partners for their continued commitment and support of kinesiology across Canada and supporting kinesiologists within their practice. We would also like to thank you for joining us today and encourage you to reach out to me at coordinator at cka.ca with any specific questions you might have, as well as visit our websites, the kinstartupkit.ca and the cka.ca to learn more about kinesiology across Canada and how you can be a top of your game as a kin.